So what's really nice is to hear that the uh, UK consensus now does recommend sensible sun exposure. The same recommendation, by the way, is now being made in Australia. They're suggesting that people have kind of a sunlight break in the midday uh, in order to get their vitamin D. And I agree with this 100%. It's sunburning experiences that increases risk for skin cancer, especially melanoma. And so sensible sun exposure, which I typically recommend, is never expose your face. It's the most sun exposed, most sun damaged. But arms, legs, abdomen, and back, a couple of times a week, for about 50% of the time that it would cause a mild redness to your skin 24 hours later. It's what we call a minimal erythemal dose. But like I said, use the app, dminer.info, and it'll tell you when you're making enough vitamin D and when to get out of the sun. Why should you think about this? Because we know that in the early morning, which is often what dermatologists will advise you to do, go out, jog, make your vitamin D, it's actually the worst time to go out. You make no vitamin D in your skin until about 10 a.m. and abruptly ends at 3 p.m., even at the equator, right? But early morning and late afternoon sunlight exposes you to UVA radiation, penetrates deeply into your skin, increases wrinkling, alters your immune system, and increases risk for melanoma.